All right, so uh, because I would like to say because the BS2 is such a is such a small controller, it doesn't have a lot of memory. Sometimes a robot, you know, it doesn't it, it'll react slow. It'll do what it has to do, but it'll react quite slow. All right, so it begins to be autonomous. Now it's in level ground mode, so it's just going to walk, right? What happens is it sees an obstacle. Okay, it will avoid it anyway because the sonar sees an obstacle. So now it no longer sees the obstacle. It's going to continue walking forward. But I put my hand under here. It's simulating. You see how the legs wake up and it sort of is attempting to climb over my hand now. You see? So let's say it's about to fall. I have control over it now. Okay? So now I back it up. So now I back it up and I'm controlling it. Okay? Now it's in autonomous mode. I switch it. Now it's in regular mode. Now what I would like to show you guys is the different modes within RC control. Within RC control, I can choose between all terrain or level ground. Right now, it's in level ground. As you see, the legs are just barely lifting off the ground. That's the point of level ground. Now, when I switch, when I switch into all terrain, you should see the legs coming up off the ground, attempting to climb. You see? That's, I, can, I can control that from this controller. Um, and that's pretty much the gist of this project, is having interface between human and robot at will with a controller. So uh, that's pretty much it. I didn't...